Hello there guys, welcome back to another episode of Howie's Heroes. Today we have for you a Transfer Special! That's my Christmassy Santa Claus voice. Uh, no face cam today, I'm not going to subject you to that on Christmas Eve. Uh, <laughs> so you can thank me in the comments down below. Uh, so we've done ourselves a little transfer special today something i've wanted to do for a long long time but to be honest with you i've been too lazy to do so today we're going to go through some of the key transfers uh, there will be other transfers after this i am just coming up to the beginning of the season with this so hopefully by the time this comes out we'll may have wrapped up another couple maybe another couple have moved out but obviously in the next episode i will update you with any further activities so we're just going to start off with the players that have left the club there's been a couple uh phil jagelka has retired he's not on this list uh but kevin trapp has moved to bournemouth for 7.5 million pounds so that's a you know it's a a, a good chunk we only paid I think it was roughly four and a half they paid for him. So 7.5 is a decent return on him. And Alan George has left the club to go to Reading for £2.4 million. So that is a really decent uh, a really decent little B for him, to be fair. Uh, Sergio Canales is leaving us for £6.5 million. He is going to Torino. And Oli, he's off as well. He's off to Palermo. This has been in the fire for a while now. Uh, £10.75 million is all it took them to prize him away from me. He's actually now only valued at 7.5, so we've done a, a really decent little bit of uh, business with that one. So to the incomings, the ones that we're all interested in. And we're going to start off with the goalkeepers. And we're going to start off with 19-year-old uh, Dan Murphy. He is a very, very talented young goalkeeper. I like his stats. He's got some good reflexes on him, good handling. Um, he's not eccentric, which is something I like. He's got decent agility, a good jump in reach. His decisions are also very decent, as are his positioning. His throws are a little bit poor. His one-on-ones are 13, so that's pretty good. He's got good communication. He's a very decent all-round goalkeeper for his age um oh he's actually 20 now he's aged in a, he's aged suddenly the swine six foot four as well 14 stone so he's a big guy big unit so he's a strong lad um 15 in strength i like that i like the fact that he can look after himself he's actually been playing for nottingham forest so he's had a good season under his belt in the championship with forest he was actually loaned out to uh, League One side later, Leighton Orient. Why have I got Leighton Orient from? Idiot. Uh, AFC Wimbledon as well. So he's he's got a good set of games under his belt. Eighty two uh, games and one hundred and four goals conceded. He cost us four point seven million pounds, uh, but I think it's going to be well worth it. You know, in in time to come, I think he's going to be a really really good you know signing for the club, and I think when he starts to progress through the years and he starts to hit maturity as a goalkeeper, then he's going to be an absolute beast. Next up is Jordan Pickford. Really pleased to have got him in. Got him for an absolute snip at £2.2 million from Bournemouth. Obviously, they took trap for uh, 7.5. So, we actually basically didn't cost us really anything. It's just we knocked £2.2 million off trap and, you know, that's it. Job done. So, he's really not cost us a lot in terms of money and stuff if that makes i know what i mean anyway shut up <laughs> I, I like jordan pitford in real life he's a decent goalkeeper he's got immense kicking on this of 17 uh, his reflexes are 15 he's got good communication his aerial reach is decent commands his area well anticipation is spot on at 15 i like that decisions 15 determination 14 positioning 15 again eccentricity is low only six agility of 14 jumping reach of 15 strength of 16 six Six foot two, 12 stone. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm really pleased to get him through the door. Uh, like I say, he only cost me 2.2 million pounds. So it was a no brainer. You know, he's a, he's a English goalkeeper as well. Hasn't on this made any appearances for England. He's still only 26. I think he's going to do a really good choice, uh, really good choice, a really good job for us next season. We'll probably start with him to, unless something drastic changes in the, uh, you know, in the preseason period. But, Pickford for me is going to be our number one. 
like I say, he picked him up from Bournemouth as well. So he's been playing Premier League football, had a few seasons there. He cost him 7.75 million from Sunderland. We've nicked him for two and uh, 2.2 million pounds. So absolute brilliant, brilliant deal that was. Next up is Kenny Ritchie. This is a wonder kid. And I have managed to pick two wonder kids up for absolute bargains in this transfer window. He's come from Southampton, so he's got good pedigree. He's played in a few league games for them. He's played in the cup game for them. You know, he's been around their team in the past season and done well. 19 years of age, you know, six foot three. So he's a decent size, good strength, good stamina, jumping reach of 17, balance is 17, heading 16, tackling is 14, marking is 13, determination is 15, decision is 14. He's just spot on, really. Off the ball is a bit poor. We've only been four, but his position is 14. I really, really like him. Somebody said on Twitter, I actually tweeted a picture out of him and somebody said he liked Jamie Lannister from Game of Thrones. So we, he will, for, from now on, be known as Jamie Lannister to everybody. Although we'll probably forget to call him that every episode, but he is Jamie Lannister. And like I say, he has played for Southampton. He's been there since 2016-17, made his debut in 18-19 and then got into double figures appearance wise this last season that's just gone. And we've picked him up for £6.75 million, which I think is an absolute bargain. Next up is Kemi Cecilia. You're breaking my heart. I love this guy. He looks like a wonderful player to me. Uh, he's only 19, six foot two. You know, he's got good strength against 17. You notice we're buying strong players. Something that actually I wish I could say, yeah, I meant to do that. It's actually a pretty unintentional. It's just fallen that way with the players I've been looking at, this type of player I've wanted to bring in. They've been strong. You know, they've got the strength. They're big guys. They're strong guys. So we're going to be a lot more physically inept. Uh, inept. That's not the word. <laughs> physically able. I don't know why I said inept then at all. Not a clue. Perhaps that's what we will be, but I don't want to be inept. Um, he's got a good jumping reach, good balance, determination of 17. Go on, my son. Again, off the ball isn't great. It's only a seven, but positioning is 15. Work rate, 13. He's got good heading, good marking, good tackling, stuff that can be worked on. And I really do like the look of him. I think he could turn out to be an absolute boss of a player. I really do. He's come from Feyenoord. He had a loan spell at FC Twente as well, where he played 23 games for them. So happy with that. 19 games, well, 22 altogether for... No, sorry, 23 altogether. What am I about? 23 altogether for Feyenoord. So he's, you know, he's had a good run for the club. And he's joined us for £7.25 million, which may seem like a lot of money, but I, I really do think he's worth it. He did actually have, this is the funniest thing, he did actually have a minimum fee release of around about £9.5 million, I think it was, but they accepted the 7.25. There's a couple of add-ons of sort of like sell-on fees and stuff of about 10% or something. But uh, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a really good, really good deal for us, I think. Next up is Max Christiansen, signed from Ingolstadt. He is a very decent player. He's a defensive midfielder, can play in defence as well, or central midfield. 23 years of age, another strong player of 16 strength, 16 stamina, good balance, good natural fitness. His aggression is 16, a bit worrying. Very brave, good determination. He's off the ball, is slightly better. At least it's in double figures of 11. Positioning, 14. Teamwork, 15. Work rate, 16. Tackling is 16 as well. So you can play that uh, the anchorman position almost that I, I play. He's a central, you know, a defensive midfielder central, but kind of drops back into the anchorman kind of position as well. So he should be decent at that. Passing is 12, so that could be worked on a little bit. But I, I do like the look of this guy. He is one that one of my scouts picked up when we were looking around for players and stuff. I was looking at a couple of boys. Uh, then I looked at him and I thought, this lad is the boy for me. He is a cracking little player. Like I say, he's been playing for Ingolstadt after starting his career at Rostock. He did have a loan spell at Hamburg where he got 22 games in there and a goal. So he's been around he's played a bit you know he looks a very very decent player to me and I think he could really flourish in the Premier League 
Once he settles in, of course, you know, he's got to settle down first. And we've picked him up for £4.6 million, which is an absolute bobby bargain. Then there is Taliska. Oh, Taliska, when you came and you gave me a turkey. I love this guy. I, I love him. I, I would have signed him no matter what. He could be 45 with two broken legs and blind and I would still buy him. I like Taliska. He always does a fantastic job for me. I'm football manager. I'm building him up now. He could be, he'd probably be shite. But he always does such an amazing job for me. I'm football manager. He's a great all-round midfielder, plays the attacking midfield role and the central midfield role brilliantly. I, t I pay no attention to his star ratings at all because I find that when I play him, he gets me goals. He plays football the way I like him to play and he does it fantastically. He can ping a free kick, he can hit a long shot and his passing is exquisite. He's got brilliant technique, good vision, You know his decisions are decent, composure is good, determination is a little low on... 11 he's off the ball and positioning isn't great to be fair but he is just my kind of player or football manager i like him a lot he's cost us 11 million pounds from gremio where he's been there for the last couple of seasons 75 appearances and 15 goals for them before that he was at basiktas where he got 59 games and 19 goals and before that is where i used to love managing him was at benfica he used to get a lot of goals down there so he's got goals wherever he's gone really on this save and I just, I really do like him. I really rate him a lot. I mean, we've, Gremio have made one hell of a profit off him. They bought him for 1.7. We've bought him from 11. So, you know, they've made a good profit off him, but he's worth every penny for me. This one excites me. Mr. Jose Angel Arieta, Wonder Kid numero dos. He is valued at £850,000. He wants out. Everton are one of his favourite clubs now because of playing for us. He has been immense for me since I come in. An absolute perfectional player. I really, really rate him. If he wasn't a regen, he was a real player, I would bang on at you to sign him until you did. Or blocked me. Uh, he's fantastic. His determination is 19. He is one hell of a determined young man. He's quick. He's got good stamina, decent strength. He's got good finishing, really, at the moment. His passing is decent. His technique is good. His off the ball is se sensational. I was going to say sexual then. Perhaps it is sexual. I don't know. What he gets up to in his own time is purely down to him. But, uh, you know, he just looks an absolute worldy of a player. He's been on loan, like I say, with us this season. He wasn't one of mine. I can't take credit for it. He was brought in from, uh, by the last man in charge. He had a loan spell at Girona, who I actually did a uh, save with in the beta. So uh, a beautiful club they are. And they're actually in the first division now, which is interestingly enough. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. So he's come over here to us, got five goals this season for us, had a good spell in the uh, Real Sociedad C team, getting 10 goals in 34 games there. He's just an absolutely fantastic player. I'm so pleased to have him on board and he's only costing us a mere £4.3 million. So we're going to be laughing at that. Absolutely laughing. Diogo Goncalves. Now this young man, this young man has been brought in for the possibility that we play wingers in games if we change our formation up to match up certain opposition. But I will also be training him as an attacking midfielder and as a striker. He can play the striker all very well. He turned into a Cristiano Ronaldo type character for me uh, on a save uh, last season, off an offline save last season. He was absolutely fantastic. We're getting him on, on a free as well, which is absolutely brilliant. I'm so pleased to be able to pick him up on a free transfer. He's got very good stats all around, good determination and such. So there's a lot, there's a lot of room for, you know, manipulation of his career, I think, at the age of 23. I think he's going to be good. He's only a little slip of a lad. He's nine stone. Five foot nine, nine stone. So, you know, he can squeeze through some gaps, I'm sure. So I'm really looking forward to seeing him play. And I'm hoping that he does get integrated into the team and play a little bit more than what, you know, he might have done this season. Patrick Roberts is up next. And I've, I've, I kind of, 
I didn't really need to do it, but I felt like he would be a good addition to the squad on a free. You know, he's not costing me anything, so screw it. Uh, I decided to pick him up, and I think he'll do okay for us. He's got some fantastic stats. I mean, he always does well. Um, whenever I play against him on Football Manager, he's fantastic. So I'm hoping that it uh, transitions to any plays for us. He's got fantastic off the ball, exquisite little technique of 16, dribbling 17, good acceleration acceleration and pace so i'm hoping that you know his flair as well is 16 so i'm really hoping that he can add a little bit of that uh, je ne sais quoi to the team and uh, do a decent job for us but like i say he's on a free so there's no real risk i mean i know we're going to pay the wages and stuff like that but you know at least we're not forking out say two or three million pounds on him if it doesn't work out so that's that guys that is all of the transfers for you in your face it's a little bit different and i hope you've enjoyed it just a little run through just have a look at the players a bit of focus on the new guys gives you a chance to meet them sometimes you don't always get that with saves so hopefully that has helped you know to familiarize yourself with a few of the new faces like i say in the next episode if anybody else does come in or go i'll just quickly run through that i won't do a special on it of course but we'll run through that and then we'll get cracking with the new season thanks for watching guys please remember to hit the like button down below if you're enjoying the series still and have a very merry christmas <laughs> goodbye